What's up guys, 915 Mang here. It's been a little bit and I gotta say I did uh, miss you. You guys ever feel like sometimes you just don't wanna f do uh, reef tank stuff, your tank is looking like crap? Well, you're not the only one. I do it too and uh, right now it is looking like crap. So I'm gonna show you what I do. As you can see that uh, Aptasia has come back with the vengeance. Um, that F Aptasia I did work. It did work. Uh, I can't really tell that it worked in this tank. I got a few things coming. Shout out to Anibal, who emailed me, gave me some heads ups, uh, suggested some things. But for this tank, I think uh, what I'm gonna do is just get a bunch of peppermint shrimp, throw them in here. I really don't want to do a copper band. I actually do want to do a copper band, but uh, in this video, we'll go ahead and discuss what has happened since. The last video that I did the last video that I did was a super long video so I don't know if you guys want to see videos every single week uh, which is what I try to do or if you just want them like a every now and then type of video uh, in this uh, YouTube channel I try to keep it real show you what I'm doing what's not working for me and go from there um, I am uh, not gonna be lazy, you know, I, I was still reefing all those times when I wasn't Actually posting videos But uh, you know how it goes sometimes to be pushing out videos every single week is uh, Time-consuming, but definitely when I have the time I go ahead and do it because I enjoy it um, I'm not a youtuber that gets hooked up and I'm not complaining uh, about it uh, but it does take up a lot of time uh, what I got here is a chocolate chip and as you can see I ended up picking up from Petco because uh, sometimes the LFS's just don't have it and uh, since I have Petco it's like a guaranteed thing that they always carry and right now he is going to be dinner, lunch and supper uh, to my Harlequin shrimp. Now I got the Harlequin shrimp because of the Asterinas and that's one thing that I'm going to do. If you didn't know Harlequins they do eat asterinas i ended up buying two but i can't find the other guy now i am kind of excited of for 2020 in the reefing community uh because i'm probably going to get to meet some of you guys that will actually watch my videos um magna is going to be in phoenix arizona and i plan on going it's not too far away from el paso so i'd like to go to uh, magna you know say what's up to some of you guys out there it would be my very first aquarium show not too far there's another one that happens in albuquerque new mexico and uh, they call it coral con and i like to go to that one when i can go there's going to be like two shows um and i like to go to that one as well to meet up some of you guys and you know pick up some corals if you guys have some tips tricks or whatever for these shows let me know uh, if some of you guys have some vip passes or whatever I hook it up um, but it, I'm pretty excited because it's gonna be my first one and you know Phoenix Arizona is not too far away from the 915 but anyways how many of you guys plan on going would this also be your first show I like to know all that stuff uh, maybe we can just uh, meet up say hi maybe I'll have some stickers by then I know um, that stickers thing is really strong on the Instagram um, I just haven't made any uh, stickers because all my money goes to corals. Now on the tank, uh, this harlequin shrimp is eating up this chocolate chip starfish. Um, it actually eats the bottom of this starfish, their little feet. And um, I have plenty of Asterina in this tank, but I wanted to give the harlequin something um, to stay alive longer. Um, I've still seen uh, the Asterinas in the tank. And the reason why I want to get rid of them is because... I hate them because they eat coral. Um, I know people say they're harmless, but uh, once you really start noticing your coral disappear, uh, you'll think otherwise. You spend a lot of money on coral, and uh, so go ahead and get yourself a harlequin shrimp. Another thing, I've seen these three tube uh, super glued gel. I bought like 30 some or 15 uh, packs of this stuff, and I couldn't find the three pack. Um, but I went to the dollar store, picked these up, and uh, for the price, it's pretty good. I usually just have my stuff ready like this, 
and then I throw that green cap away and then um, I throw it in a little plastic container that I have to kind of keep all my stuff organized um, and while you, while you uh, frag it doesn't hurt to go ahead and have yourself a nice cold one so uh, as you can see I got a couple here in my thing but on a serious note I got this uh, caddy and I got it from uh, Target and it's a lot better kind of keeps things more organized one for frag plugs one for the tools and then one for the uh, super glue gel and it works pretty good I don't know how much it was I think it, I want to say it was in the dollar section and uh, I've used it and it's pretty cool it actually uh, will float in your tank um, really don't recommend that but in case it does happen it will flow in case it does happen though you can see it does float um, I also recommend getting yourself a microfiber cloth it's just good to have uh, wipe your hands or whatever clean your glass after you're done making a mess and it does pretty good um, I got it orange so it would glow but they actually sell uh, a whole bunch of packs at uh, if you go to Harbor Freight they have them for pretty cheap and then you can get them uh, cheaper with a 20% coupon that they have all over the place that you can find in the newspapers online wherever another goodie that I got is um, I got a little quarantine system uh, because I'm not really good at quarantine at all I don't want to set up a separate system this is just so I can introduce a uh, new fish or if I decide to propagate some anemones I can keep it here without it having been a big old ordeal you know what I'm saying because I can just separate everything in this thing and when I'm done using it I can pull it out of my system and uh, I picked this up from Blue Tide Acrylics and you can check him out on the Facebook Instagram and he's a uh, firefighter pretty good dude and his name is Jake pretty good work and uh, nice magnets to match my uh, cloth and my uh, coral propagation kit and it's really really nice it came out pretty cool I could have got a lid but I told him nah, I don't I don't really want a lid I'll just you know store it when I'm done and uh, it'll look cool and I can adjust this as I want so like when I got my uh, new fish they were getting their butts kicked really good um, I could have put them in here for a little bit made sure they ate not get bullied right away let the other fish um, see them and this thing would protect them I actually paid a hundred bucks for this and this thing is cool because it was custom I told them I wanted it red I told them I wanted the sides clear with vents and uh, I could have put a design logo on there and I'm really happy with the way everything turned out other plans for this is if I end up fragging some uh, nice super expensive zoas or whatever and I don't want them to uh, fly away I can frag them and put them in here uh, because I know that they're not gonna fly away um, everything looks good I like it but when I'm not using it I'm gonna go ahead and store it because it doesn't take up a, a lot of room underneath the uh, tank but guys I want to go ahead and uh, show you a clip this is a little bit of uh, Metallica for my kids school band and uh, last year senior year so I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, you guys take care let me know in the comments if you guys are going to Macna 2021 a meet up or something let me know that'd be cool and uh, maybe I'll have some stickers by then guys you guys take care have a good one